Welcome to Head Rush. Okay, you know that you made it in science when you get something named after you. Einstein's theory of relativity, the Tesla coil, the Doppler effect, Newton's laws of just about anything, and the Weissenberg effect. What's the Weissenberg effect, you ask? Let me show you. All I need to demonstrate is a hand drill and these two beakers of liquid. When I put the drill in the first beaker and start turning, watch what happens. Not much. Not a surprise, because the liquid is water. Now, watch what happens when I put the drill in the second beaker and start turning. Awesome, right? A liquid that defies gravity. An Austrian scientist named Karl Weissenberg discovered this effect, and that's why his name is still around today. So what is the liquid, and why does it climb up the drill? Is it a polymer that climbs using long chains of molecules, a metal which has a low melting point, or a compound with a low center of gravity? The answer is it's a liquid polymer that has long, tangled molecule chains. As some of the molecular chains get caught by the spinning rod, there's tension on each end of them. As the blob on the rod gets bigger, the chains get more and more stretched out, and that tension pushes them up the narrow drill. Polymers go against some of the laws of physics that were discovered by Isaac Newton, and that's why they're called non-Newtonian fluids. Sorry, Isaac. Today, I'm all about Weisenberg.